Question number one. Which of the following is not a metal? Option A copper. Option B sulfur. Option C aluminium. Option D iron. The right answer is option B. Sulfur is not a metal because it is not hard, malleable, ductile or sonorous. In addition to the sulfur on reacting with oxygen produces sulfur dioxide gives sulfurous acid whereas metallic oxides are basic in nature. Those sulfur is non-metal. Question number 2. The substance that will be flattened on beating with a hammer is Option A crystal of iodine Option B lump of sulfur Option C piece of coal Option D zinc granule The right answer is option D on beating with a hammer zinc granules will get flattened because it is a metal and hence process the property of malleability i.e. they can be beaten into thin sheets. Question number 3. Buyho has learned that nonmetals on beating with a hammer are generally broken into pieces. Which of the following is a nonmetal? Option A iron nail. Option B Aluminium wire Option C Copper plate Option D Piece of coal The right answer is Option D. Piece of coal contains carbon which in turn is a non-metal and hence brittle and when beaten with hammer it turns into pieces. Question number 4. Materials which can be drawn into wires are called ductile. Which of the following is not a ductile material? Option A silver. Option B copper. Option C sulfur. Option D aluminium. The right answer is option C. Ductility is to property of metals due to which metals can be drawn into him thin wires. Sulfur is non-metal and hence cannot be drawn into wires. Question number 5. Metals are generally hard. Which of the following metals is an exception and can be cut with a knife? Option A. Iron. Option B sodium Option C gold Option D magnesium The right answer is option B Metals are hard and tough except sodium that can be cut with a knife Question number 6 Metals are generally solid. Which of the following metals is in the liquid state at room temperature? Option A mercury. Option B silver. Option C aluminium. Option D sodium. The right answer is option A. Metals are generally solid except mercury that is found in liquid state at room temperature. Question number 7. Metals generally react with dilute acids to produce hydrogen gas. Which one of the following metals does not react with dilute hydrochloric acid? Option A. Magnesium. Option B aluminium Option C iron Option D copper The right answer is option D 
copper does not react hydrochloric acid even on heating. It is highly unreactive metal. Question number 8. Which of the following reacts with cold water vigorously? Option A carbon. Option B sodium. Option C magnesium. Option D sulfur. The right answer is option B. Sodium react vigorously with water forming sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. To prevent this reaction, it is stored in kerosene. Here is the equation. Question number 9. The metal which produces hydrogen gas on reaction with dilute hydrochloric acid as well as sodium hydroxide solution is. Option A copper. Option B iron. Option C aluminium. Option D sodium. The right answer is option C. Aluminium produces hydrogen gas on reaction with dilute hydrochloric acid is as follows. Reaction of aluminium with sodium hydroxide solution is as follows. Question number 10. Which of the following nonmetals reacts and catches fire on exposure to air? Option A phosphorus. Option B Nitrogen Option C Sulfur Option D Hydrogen The right answer is Option A. Phosphorus being a vigorously reacting nonmetal catches fire if exposed to air. In order to avoid such reaction phosphorus is stored in water that disconnects it with atmospheric oxygen. Question number 11. Generally metallic oxides are basic and non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Solution of which of the following oxides in water will change the color of blue litmus to red? Option A Sulfur Dioxide Option B Magnesium Oxide Option C Iron Oxide Option D Copper Oxide The right answer is Option A Sulfur Dioxide is a nonmetal and as we know nonmetallic oxides are acidic in nature. Therefore, sulfur dioxide will change the blue litmus paper to red. Question number 12. Which of the following property is not responsible for copper to be used as electrical conduction wires? Option A ductility. Option B color. Option C good conductor of electricity. Option D it is solid. The right answer is option B. Copper being a metal is solid, possess the property of ductility and is a good conductor of electricity due to which it can be used as electrical conduction wires. Color has nothing to do with it.